everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ali I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe so today I wanted to share my jewelry that I wore to the grand event at Troll Beats Texas this past weekend um, and so when Linda decided that she was going to come down to Texas to attend the event uh, we came up with the design challenge and we decided on a few pieces that we were going to definitely wear and then we wanted to see, um, you know, how different or how similar our designs were going to be with these uh, similar elements in them. And so we decided that we were going to use the troll fairy in our designs. Um, we would use at least one troll agate, which both of us fell in love with the troll agates, which are the 2022 Troll Beads Day beads. So we decided we would use one of those. Um, and last year we were lucky enough to, um, you know, purchase a troll stone from the event. So we decided to use our troll stone in our um, design challenge and then a twinkle bead and armadillo because this is Texas and um, the state animal is an armadillo. And then we decided we were going to use a gemstone and um, we decided that we were either going to use the anemone pendant or um, lover's faith um, as a flower on our designs. And um, we would wear a fantasy necklace with either the fairy of nature or the fantasy elf. So that was kind of our list that we gave to each other. And uh, Linda already shared her designs over on Instagram if you're interested in watching. And I thought I would do mine here on YouTube. And so let's get started. As you can see, I have two bangles here and then I have a foxtail bracelet. I also did a fantasy necklace, which is right here. So let's get started with the fantasy necklace. I decided to go with the white pearl fantasy necklace and um, then on here I have nature girl. I just love, love nature girl and I definitely wanted to wear her for the event. Um, she looks beautiful on a fantasy necklace but I've worn her on a bangle too and she does look beautiful on that and very comfortable on the wrist I have to say. Now this is the event bead for uh, 2022. I'm forgetting what it's called, City Chic maybe? I don't remember exactly, but it has this different faceting and then it has these black, white and um, glitter lines running through it. And so I was able to get this when they had an event um, a few months ago. And so that's what I wore. Then I also put a spacer, which is the I am grateful spacer over here because I was so grateful that I was going to meet uh, Linda and uh, Nicole. And so I was really excited about that. So that's um, there and I put it at a distance uh, so that I have like these two focal points uh, um, in the fantasy necklace design. And then on top of that, I have the Fairy of Nature, which was one of our required beads. And so I put that on here. And then I wanted a very petally look to him. So on top of him, I put this big lotus pendant. So it looks like, you know, he has a bunch of petals on his head. It looks really cute. And then this one is the event bead from last year. And so uh, the difference between these two is this year it is white and last year's was light pink. And so, yeah, that was my fantasy necklace design for this event. Next is this bangle design. And this one, um, uh, we either had to use the fairy of nature or the fantasy elf on our um fantasy necklace. So since I went with the fairy of nature on my fantasy necklace, I decided to put the fantasy elf on my bangle design. Uh, and because I think he's just so cute. Again, he's one of those beads who looks gorgeous on a fantasy necklace, but looks equally beautiful on a bangle design too. I haven't worn him on a foxtail bracelet, but I, I'm guessing he would look really nice on that too. So that's the centerpiece of my um, of my bangle design. On either side, I have these purple stones. This one is one of my troll agates. As I said, I fell in love 
with the troll agates and next to that I have my troll stone from last year which I love the colors on this one it has a bunch of purple in here and so I think it looks good with my troll stone on this side of the fantasy elf I have this um uh, glass bead this is from the vine of dreams bracelet set so that's that one and this is a faceted unique i got from the grand event last year and i thought the colors in this really picked up on the colors on the troll stone and um yeah that's how i had picked this unique actually i had picked this troll stone and was looking at the uniques last year this one caught my eye and I thought it went really well with my troll stone and that's why I had picked this one up. So that's the first bangle design. This is the foxtail bracelet design that I wore. Um, and again, this has a ton of um, our required beads on it. And um, the lock I used is the clover lock from the um, friendship bracelet uh, that, or the lucky friends bracelet that was released, I think in 2016 for Troll Beads Day. So I recently got this lock and I just wanted to wear this for, you know, a little bit of good luck to find the beads I wanted at the event. And then I have this sweet berries spacer on here. This is the amethyst gemstone and this is uh, a gemstone was a required bead so this completed one of the requirements and I chose purple because uh, purple is Linda's favorite color and so I went with a purple theme um, as far as my stack went that day which you know and Linda did more of a pink theme because pink is my favorite color so that was just so sweet <laughs> and so yeah I did purple she did pink. Um, next to the amethyst, I have the hydrangea bead, which was a gift from Linda, and so I wanted to wear it. This is a unique I got a few weeks ago from Troll Beats Texas, and the funny thing about this unique is I picked this unique, and, um, you know, we're shopping together mostly, um, for different promos that they run and everything, and so... Troll Beats Texas does tend to send pictures of the same trays to both of us at approximately the same time. So they sent us a picture of uh, the Uniques tray and then I picked this one. And then five minutes later, Linda texts me and says <laughs> that I picked the Unique she wanted because by the time she told them, oh, she wants this Unique, I had already picked it. And so I really wanted to wear this um, just to tease Linda just a tiny bit. <laughs> but it has this green base with these purple flowers um, but i later found out that these uniques are actually called butterflies because this is a, a butterfly in flight and so that's so cool i did not know that until a few days ago actually and so that's my unique this is the apple blossom uh, this is one of my very first um silver beads that i bought from troll beads i think this was my second silver bead i ever bought from them the first being the daffodil of march this is the twinkle bead i decided to go with this was another requirement that we had to use a twinkle bead and this is twinkle passion it is one of my favorites from the twinkle collection that they released this year and again i was going with a purple theme um, I decided to use the Troll Anemone and the Lover's Faith uh, Silvers, both of them. And so I have the Troll Anemone here and then inside it I have my Labradorite Go Round. Look at that flash in this. I love Labradorite. I think it's probably my favorite um, gemstone that Troll Beads does. Next to that I have the Queen of Duty bead. Again, it's purple and so that's why I went with that. Then I have Lover's Faith. Um, this is the armadillo bead. I decided to use the green armadillo um, just because I wanted to get that green and purple look in this uh, bracelet design because of I wanted to pick up this green from this unique. And then another requirement is this one, which is the little troll fairy. And again, this was the first gift that Linda ever gave me back when I first started collecting troll beads and i didn't know much about troll beads so um 
you know, my friendship with Linda, um, although started a little bit with Pandora, but it really bloomed with our love of troll beads. And um, since she's been collecting for longer and she knew more about troll beads, she's educated me so much about it, about the brand, about the beads. And in fact, she's still doing it. So if I have a question, I usually ask her. <laughs> and so that's um, one bead I really wanted to wear. And that's the troll fairy. And then I wore the birthday bead. Um, this is the birthday bead from 2019 or 2020, I want to say. 2020. And I wore this one again because it's purple. So um, in honor of Linda. So that is my um, foxtail bracelet design. And then this one I put together last minute because Nicole, she decided very last minute that she was going to come over to the event and I knew that she had the troll with big feet and I knew she loves the neutral agates too. And so I decided to put this one together, um, you know, for Nicole. And this is my star bangle and I do have the dancing butterfly uh, spacers. And in between the spacers, I have the troll with big feet, which look at his cute little feet. Well, they're big feet, but uh, he's just so, so cute. I love the dichroic glass. I love how it glitters. So I love this bead. And then I have my other two troll agates uh, flanking him. And so, yeah, uh, these were my... Uh, troll beads pieces, um, my bangles and bracelet and fantasy necklace that I wore to the event. And I also wore my baby's breath ring. Um, and uh, uh, Linda also ended up wearing the same ring. So we were both wearing uh, our baby's breath ring. I really love this one. I wear, wear this a ton. It is so well made. It has all these little flowers. Um, and leaves and all these details. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous ring. I really love it. So that's what I wore. And the earrings I wore actually are not uh, troll beads. Um, they're not, um, you know, branded. They are silver and um, I love these earrings. Uh, they are silver. They have some marcasite detail. And then it has these citrine stones in there. So yeah, I really, really love these earrings and this is what I wore with my troll beads uh, stack that day. So I hope you enjoyed looking at the jewelry um, I wore for the grand event and, um, you know, the... Uh, the challenge I had with Linda, we had a lot of similar beads, but at the same time, our stacks were so different. If you liked this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.